Hello my lovely student, it's me, Ms. Shiraz. Hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to explain grammar, unit 13, object pronoun and relative pronoun. So, before we start our subject, let's just make a quick revision about the previous lesson, uh, which we had should and shouldn't, and we said that we use them when we want to give advice. For example, you should eat healthy food. If you just look at here, the verb is based without s without ed and without ing and this is advice so you have to eat healthy food after that you shouldn't sleep late another advice and this one is in a negative way look at sleep we don't have s and we don't have ed and we don't have ing after that we've talked about something else uh, we have could and we have couldn't we use them when we want to talk about ability that we had, we have it or we had it in the past. So, for example, we have, I couldn't read books when I was three. So, my ability when I was three years old, I couldn't read books. But now, I don't have any problem, I can read books easily. Or, I have... I could ride a bike when I was five, but now I can't ride a bike. Okay, this was the previous lesson. And now, before we go to my subject, um, in the beginning of the year, we've talked about something which we had, subject pronouns. Okay, what are subject pronouns? Um, we have I, we, you, they, he for boy and she for girl and it for things or for animals. We use we and they for a uh, number of people. So these are, we call it the doer of the action. Why? For example, I have we play. So we, we have a number of people, they do something which is play. So play is the action. So who do that? this action? We. So we are the doer of my action. Or you cook so it means that you do an action what was it it is cooking or we have he jumps again we have an action and someone did that action which is he or the boy so these we you they or the others we call them the doer of the action and my action is play cook jumps okay our subject today is uh, something which we call it object pronouns and this one is page 105 okay so what is subject pronouns this time when i want to talk about subject pronouns we can call them the receiver so i say can you help can you help i so i will be the receiver but i'm not gonna say can you help i i'm not gonna say can you help she or can you help they? Or can you help we? At that time, I have to use something else instead of using I, we, you, they, or he or she or it. So, we have something which we call it object pronouns. Okay, what are object pronouns? When the pronouns is the object of the verb, it means that we have some verbs and we need a pronouns. So at that time, we use them as an object for my verbs so we call them the receiver of the action how look at this one I'm instead of saying I I use we instead of saying we I'm gonna say us you no change no problem they change it to them he change it to him she change it to her it change it to it no problem with it so let me give you an example just to make it clear Okay, I've helped he. Is it correct this one? Can I say I help he? No. Instead of saying he, I can say something. Look at her. We say I change it to me. What about he? He, I have to change it to him. So instead of saying I help he, no, it's wrong. I'm going to say I help him. So he, we have to change it to him. So at that time, him is the object of object pronoun so him is the receiver so I did an action what was it helping so and who received this action
fashion him it means he okay so after that we have another one if I want you to help me so I have to say will you help we um no instead of saying we I have to change we into something to make it easier so because you is the subject pronoun so at that time I have to change we into something so at that time look at again we have I change it to me we change it to us so will you help us instead of saying we I'm gonna change it to us so I help him not he be careful will you help us not we okay just let's make it more clear let me give you some example for example I can say please help I is it correct no instead of saying help I I can change it to me please help me okay which because I am the receiver I receive help okay will you help she no I have to change she into her another one we have they saw we I can't say that because it's wrong so I'm gonna change it to we to us so they saw us another one we have chop them up be careful when we have a verb can which contains two parts so at that time I have to put the object pronoun between them so chop up chop mean cut so chop them up maybe them means banana apple onion anything so them talk about something which is more than one after that play with him so him it was he but we change it into him because we have to use object pronoun and now I have another example which we have it in the book uh, let me do it I'm gonna do it and I want you to do the others which is page 105 be careful of it okay I can hear my brother so brother is he it means brother boy so I can't see her we use her for girl so it's not her um it um no it we use it for animal or for things um no so at that time i have to use him why because brother is he so he we will change it to him let's do number two which is in the book again i have got a problem okay so i have a problem please help her no i have the problem so I can't say her you know so at that time I have to use me why because my subject is I so I want you to give me help because I am the receiver so at that time we will change I into me okay I want you to do the other example exercise and send it to me or to mr. Chabad okay after that we have something else which we call it relative pronouns okay so what is relative pronouns it's page 106 we have relative pronouns we use them when we want to join two sentences together or to connect two facts together we can use who we can use whose we can use whom or which or that okay but in your book we have only who and we have only which who I'm gonna use it when I want to talk about people and I'm gonna use which when I want to talk about things okay so let me give you some examples here we have this is the boy okay didn't put the lead on so he didn't put the lead on instead of saying putting two sentences together I can connect it together and I use who why who because i am talking about the boy and boy is one of we use who because we use it for people so this is the boy who didn't put the lead on another example we have she is the girl okay this is one sentence and she saw the movie another sentence and both of them are fact so i can connect or join these two facts together by using who she 
is the girl who saw the movie okay after that I'm gonna use which this is the pan okay which she used it so she used a pan for cooking and she saw the movie and we have a boy who didn't put the lid on the blender the last one we have the photos which I attach it so I am talking about the photos that I attach it I connect two sentences together and both of them are fact you can use who for people and you can use which for things okay after that we have another subject and be careful we have some exercise and I want you to do it and it's page 106 it's really easy you can just make a sentences okay we have writing preparation it's just a link between them just look at her it's one page 109 so we have something which we call it sub clause or sub means subordinate clause we use them when you want to give more information okay or when you want extra information be careful sub clause itself doesn't need doesn't give any meaning but when I put it in the sentences at that time it gives extra information for example look at here again because we have sub clause I can use relative clause for them I can use which for things again and I can use who for people how look at here I have a sentence here my sister who is younger than me is a teacher so I have a sister and she is a teacher but here I give more example sorry more information to give to make it cl more clear so who is younger than me so younger than me if you just look at here doesn't give any meaning okay who is younger but if you just look at here my sister is a teacher is the main sentence easily my sister is a teacher you can understand that I am talking about a girl and she is a teacher and that's it no problem with it because we have subject and we have the verb and that's it but if you just look at here we have who is younger than me is it a sentence no do we have verb no can you can you get can you understand the subject no so the sentence that doesn't give the meaning we call it sub clause and the main sentence or the main clause is the sentence that gives more uh, meaning to the sentence so be careful all the time when you put sub clause we can put it in the beginning of the sentence or in f uh, in the middle or at the end of the sentence but because bec uh, in your book we have only in the middle so we have to put two commas just to show you that these are sub clause let's give another example we have Alex who is nine years old was very happy okay so look at here Alex was very happy it's a sentence and it's a main sentence you don't have any problem easily you can understand the subject you don't have any problem with it but when I want to say who is nine years old it's not a sentence because I can't understand wh what does that mean so that one we call it sub clause okay after that we have another example but this one I am using which so the cake which I made on Monday is delicious so this time because I am not talking about people this time I am talking about things because sorry because cake is something that it's not a person it's things so at that time I have to use which so the cake which I made on Monday is delicious okay look at here again the cake is delicious it's a sentence and you can understand the meaning of it but when I say which I made on Monday um, it's not a sentence okay so after that I have another sentence here the house which we bought 
was pink. Okay, so we look at here. When I want to look at this sentence, the house was in pink is the main sentence and you can understand the meaning. But if I say which we bought, okay, bought what? We don't know. So at that time, which we bought is the sub clause and doesn't give any meaning. But when I put it in the sentence, at that time it gives extra meaning or it gives extra information to the sentence. So this was our subject for today. Hope you get benefit from and what I want you to do is we have a small things which is grammar unit 12 which page 80, 58 until 61 is homework. I want you to answer them and take a picture of them and send it to me or send it to Mr. Chabad. And we have something else. We have the word book unit 12 page 56 until 91. I want you to answer them and send it to me or to Mr. Chabad and I love you and I miss you. Bye.